Hello and welcome to a Dragon Ball Z Dogon battle video. Um, this is way different than what I usually do. Usually I'm doing like a Call of Duty video. I haven't been back in a couple of days and I said I would eventually do one of these. So here I am. And like I said, it's going to be pretty different than usual. Um, so the mic will sound different and stuff because I'm on my phone. Um... Today, I'm just, I don't know how long this will be, but today I'm just going to talk about the coins, you know, these right here, um, don't know what else to call them, you know, your summonable LR coins here, and how to use those, and if you should save them, and whatever, um, especially directed towards, like, your free-to-play players, and stuff like that. You know, people that just use loads of money on Dragon Stones. Of course, they don't have a problem. They <laughs> they get what they want. And also, I'm going to talk about some what I think is going to be coming up for the Worldwide Download Celebration, which is probably like a less... I think the banners will probably drop in like two to three weeks, I would guess. And also, while I'm here, let me go over here. Um, I caught... Kai Goku, which was cool, it was my last summon, and I was calling it quits. Um, I got it from doing the anniversary uh, battles, yeah, because you get like nine technically from each one. So it's cool getting him. Didn't really care if I got Gohan. I tried getting cooler. I went ahead and did one more summon, but I'm done with them now. Um, but when when I get one more ticket, which is in four like. Three hours and forty minutes. I'll um, I'll do be doing the summon on the Gohan banner. See if I can get cooler or Gohan. But let me go ahead and talk about what tickets. I mean, what coins you should use on what character, or if you should save. Or, anyways, I'll just start with the gold coins. So something you should realize about these gold coin banners is since these teal coins or whatever color this is, since they have came out. Gold coin banners are so much more rare now. So, if you're gonna, if you have 500 gold coins, that's that's a, okay. Just listen. So you got Golden Frieza, Zamasu. Do not buy Kyle, Kyle King Goku or Grade Eight Vegeta because they're not worth 500 gold coins at all. Um, who else was on here? Okay. Janimba, Janimba is not a terrible pickup, but I'm going to tell you why you should definitely save your gold coins if you don't know already. But if you don't have Janimba, um, who was it? Golden Freezer or Zamasu. I think there might have been somebody else. Maybe, maybe, uh, Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku or, um... Ant God Goku here. You know, maybe you can pick those up if you don't have one of those. But if you don't have any of those at all, I still suggest that you save your gold coins because Bulma, she'll be coming out right around the corner. And if you don't, I'm sure you know who Bulma is, but, you know. Um, save your gold coins for Bulma. She is way... Mm, She's she's quite a dang on. I went the wrong way. She's quite a bit better than all of these characters on here. That's what I suggest. But if you're going to buy somebody, him, Golden Frieza. But like I said, wait for Bulma if you don't have her. And if you do have Bulma, say you have them all. Everybody that I just said, Bulma, Frieza, and if you don't have something like Kyle Ken Goku, I don't know. Like, I don't have, let me look for somebody I don't have. Like, I don't have them. If I had 500 coins, I wouldn't buy them. Because I would wait. There's going to be a better unit come out eventually. And just, yeah, better to wait. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and do the Dokkan Festival coins. Okay. So, if you summoned and you summoned on these anniversary banners... The Z banner or the GT banner, you didn't get those units. 
right there is your 500 red coins, okay? And if you did get them, and say you didn't get like one of the gammas, or you didn't get STR cool, you know, don't waste your coins on them, okay? Um, while the gammas are good, they're definitely paired, like you gotta pretty well have them together for them to perform at their peak. So, if you have STR Gamma 1 and you don't have 2, you know, that's up to you. But I, I suggest that you don't do that and I say you wait. If you don't have, like, physical God Goku that came out on, uh, I think it came out on Saiyan Day, yeah. Or physical Kid Goku, I would save your red coins for that. And that's what I'm saving them for. And also... Yeah, I'll go ahead and talk about this. So, we have, we know that if you keep up with JP, there is a Super Saiyan 4 Goku that comes out during the Tanabata, well, the Tanabata Celebration, which is in November. Um, I think it's usually like late November. Now, you can save your stones and summon all you want on there, but I suggest you don't do that. The rates on those banners are terrible. Um... While they do have the anniversary units and stuff, if you didn't get, like, if you didn't come over here and you didn't get, like, the Z unit or the GT unit, then, you know, go ahead, use your stones, see if you can get a little lucky. But, overall, I would use your red coins on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku because he comes out. I, th I think he comes out on Saiyan Day, which is around February or March. So he comes out like three or four months later. So it's not worth it to use your Dragon Stones on that banner. And if you didn't get this unit right here, the GT unit, I would probably use your red coins on them over Super Saiyan 4. But it's just, it's your preference, mate. I don't know. It's It's kind of a hard pick there. That one's up to you. Um, I would pro probably personally go with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, though, over the GT unit. Let me come back over here. Um, okay, here's one to talk about in the raid coins. So the Year 5 Fusions, if for some reason you weren't able to get them or didn't pick them up, that is not a bad unit to pick up, okay? If you just can't wait to use your raid coins... That's probably, well, <laughs> that's probably one of the units you want to pick up right there is Gogeta or Vegito. Um, if you watch Truth, which a lot of Doe Connors usually go to him because he's got everything rainbowed. He, he knows it all. You probably want to get Vegito. He's just slightly better. Nothing to like, nothing, not like a big separation or anything, but. I have them both rainbowed as well, and I was playing with him last night. He'll he'll super he'll super attack like five or six times while my Gogeta. I have not seen him super three times once. It's always twice. I mean, he does crit, like it's almost like guaranteed crit. But still, I would rather have my five or six super attacks over two supers and you know some crits. Um, okay. Let's go over to the teal coins, which is your second hardest coins to get next to the, um, you know, these are the easiest, and then second easiest, and then the hardest now. Um, these coins come out, I think, like four times a year. Um, okay. <laughs> so I have 500 because I did a lot of summons. On this guy, I don't want to click on him. The Super Saiyan Goku there, the Tech Bird Coup. I did like 43 summons on his banner for the Worldwide. And I did not get him until this banner I was summoning. Um, and I got him, of course, because I've only got 560 now. Um, I don't have Cooler, so I'm not going to use my Teal Coins, the Carnival Coins, on Cooler. And I'll tell you why. If you don't have Bird Coup... Do, do not waste your carnival coins if you have four to five hundred. 
do not use your carnival coins and that's because the worldwide is very close okay and the part one comes out with a carnival banner so you'll be able to buy a bird coup if you wanted to right away but don't do that because there might be a unit that comes out and say you don't pick them up well there you go you're you know if you bought bird coup and you didn't get that unit you're out of coins so um i think you know there's golden freezer but Golden Freezer or Tech Bird Key, that's the only two I would pick up if I were you guys, but do not do that because the Carnival Coins are about to come out right around the corner. Um, I think that's the only things I want to say about how to utilize your coins and who you should or should not pick up. And in my opinion, that you should just save your coins. You can spend these if you want. These are a little more, you know lenient on how easy you get them and stuff so uh you know if you want to use these this is fine but your yellow coins and your carnival coins please say those you will regret it if you go ahead and buy one i don't remember who i oh i bought golden freezing now i almost have them rainbowed so i did end up regretting that i didn't buy them during the anniversary i bought them some other time i forgot um it was before the anniversary came out um okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and talk about what I think is going to come out for the worldwide, um, I don't think there's been any kind of teases or anything like that on what's coming out. So I might look like an idiot if there has been. I didn't mean to go here. Um, so I think I had three guesses in mind. I hope I don't forget them. Um, I actually did forget one, but it's whatever. Um, just give me like, what was my other guess? I gotta go look at the banners, because, uh, you know, you kind of got to base it off of the anniversary units, in a way. So, we got the Z banner. Okay. Um, I'll just I'll just keep going on about it, and maybe I'll remember as I go along. So, one of my first guesses is going to be, I think we'll possibly, I know it's a stretch here, but we got a Gohan and sell years ago for the Worldwide, I'm pretty sure, right? Was that Worldwide? I think it was. Or it might have been, that might have been Anniversary, I don't know. But we got a Gohan, just a straight Gohan, no Goku, no Vegeta. And I think it's possible that we can get a standalone Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and a... Let me go to him. This guy right here. Where is he at? I can't find him. Sorry. This guy right here is so aged out of his mind. I think he got an easy A on JP maybe. I don't know if he was good or not. But it doesn't matter. You still need, you know, you need some updated units here. Um, and I think this guy would end up being the carnival unit. Instead of Vegeta being the carnival unit. Like, it doesn't, like, I think the Super will be the Dokkan best this year because the Super in Part 1 last year was Tech Garnival Goku, so um, I think they'll switch that up. I did guess before it was released that on the anniversary that Part 1 would be Double Dokkan best because I, I did not think they would do that. Um, Do the Carnival banners are way harder to summon on, so I thought they would keep Dokkan best. Um... That's what I think will be part one. That one's kind of a stretch because we did just get like a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But the only reason I was guessing a standalone Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is because we got the Tanabata Int Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So I was like, well, maybe we can get a standalone Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And, you know, we've been getting a lot of GT buffs over the time, like year two. You know, we got like Tech Pan. I still don't have her. Um, you know, new GT unit, the seven year anniversary. Let me go to my GTT here. You know, this guy and this guy, they need an easy A pretty bad. These guys are okay. They're, they're not washed or anything. Um, but that's, that's one of my guesses for it. Um, oh, I didn't mean to go to summon. Okay. Now my next guess <laughs> It's just hopeful because we. this is our last 
unit of Vegito that we got <laughs> right here. This was our last unit, and we'll, I think he was released in 2020. Um, and then our last playable Vegito unit, which is recently, is this one. Okay. Now, I think that this could be a worldwide download celebration unit, more than the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, personally. Um, because we did just get a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I don't think they'll do it back to back. I don't. Um, while we did just get this thing in Easy A, we haven't got a Vegito unit in three years. We haven't got one in three years. Um, and you're probably thinking, well, we just got a few Zamasu. And that's, that's right, we did. Um, so they wouldn't do that. They would, where's he at? There he is. We need a we need a better unit of this guy. Way, way better. This guy is not. He is not it. And for um, possible easy A's during this, you know, we could, you know, this guy. Um, let me go to Future Saga here. What else? What other easy A's can we look at? Um, it's not much really to easy A here because. We've been getting a decent amount of Future Saga buffs. Um, you know, we got Ant, Vegeta, and Trunks there. So, that's another reason I kind of think it could be a Future Saga type theme or slash Vegito. And, of course, this could be a um, buff for Patara right here. And many more teams. It's just Patara came to my head first. This guy could get an easy A, which he needs bad. Like, look at this. We got a... I didn't know he reduced damage by 30%. I haven't read this in forever. Like, look how small this passive skill is. Like, it's crazy. Um, well, I can't click on it. And then we got this. You know, recovers HP. Um, attack and defense 150. I didn't know he had a medium chance for crits. Um, counters normal. This guy needs a buff really bad. So... You know, we could be looking at an easy A for that. And then, somewhere along the lines, um, we could be looking at Tech Gogeta because they came out closely together. Now I got, okay, I've seen it, and this is, this is my most, what I think most likely will happen, okay? Um, this guy. This guy's been left and passed up over and over. Many people thought we'd get to see this easy A during the anniversary. But, instead, I think we might get a standalone Super Saiyan 3 Goku for the Worldwide Download Celebration. And while we did just get the AGL... Um, why... Majin Buu, I forgot his name... While we did just get the AGL Majin Buu, you know, it's pushing it a little bit because it's like, well, we just got Majin Buu, but he is kind of, he's kind of, uh, he's kind of, all right. Um, that's where I bought AGL Golden Frieza, by the way. That just reminded me. Something we don't have is an LR Kid Buu. Um, something we've been waiting for forever. Um... It could also still fit this Spirit Bomb theme if they wanted. So it wouldn't be leaving that. I mean, I know they probably don't want to spam Spirit Bomb because I, I, I don't know. Um, I was going to say I think Super Saiyan 4 Goku is, but I, I'm pretty sure he's not. Um, but I think that would be cool. We could still, it would still fit like Majin Buu Saga. So we could get STR Vegito, still get an easy A here. Um, let's see. Majin Buu Saga is just in need of help so bad. Where is it at? There it is. Who else is on this team? This guy right here. He doesn't really need it. <laughs> because he. this is the best aging unit probably of all time. He could get an easy A. I mean, I don't know what else they could really do. Maybe, maybe raise attack and defense to like 180 or something, 170. Um... You know, they could they could buff him a little bit. 
This, but he could get an easy A. Oh, yes, yes, they could do a lot. This guy needs an easy A. This guy needs an easy A. Um, just those three units and this guy. There's so much they can work with. I think this is the most likely option. Um, I mean, we got this unit. I feel like most of the easy A's during this celebration was Majin Buu theme. What did we get here? We got, um, where's he at? I didn't level him up yet, but I finished it. This guy got an easy A. And then this guy got an easy A. Wait, who else got an easy A? Who was part two? Oh, no, I'm just being dumb. I was just over-exaggerating. But we did get some Majin Buu themed. We didn't get any GT themed. So that's why I put um, Vegeta and the baby unit, like, worldwide download celebration possibility, like, out the window. Because while it's still a possibility, um, we didn't get any kind of GT themed easy A's. So I think... We need, I think they're going to focus more on the Majin Buu saga because it needs it really bad. Um, you know, let me let me go show it. Well, let me go show you my Majin Buu saga team here. I think it's just right here. You know, this unit right here. It I love this unit. Probably one of my top favorite units to just play with. Like, look at my number one team here. It's old but gold. Um, we got. <laughs> And it's mostly just for flex because I got them rainbowed. I don't really, I don't go too crazy with money on this game. So it's pretty cool to just sit there and have like a fully rainbowed team. This one's just more flex because I would put Piccolo there because he increases the links, I think, to like 10 or 11. Um, but yeah. Let me go back to Majin Buu Saga. This guy sucks though. I love Vegito is definitely my favorite fusion if you can't tell whenever the seventh anniversary was announced double Gogeta I mean I wasn't totally upset but still I, I wanted Vegito um you know this guy can use an easy A and this guy isn't that good on the team so I could replace him with um if they easy A'd int Super Saiyan 2 transform into Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Majin Vegeta, take Majin Vegeta, um, or I could just leave them on there and replace these two, because I'm not a big fan of this unit, I just don't, I don't know, it's just kind of boring to play with, this, this unit's kind of boring to play with sometimes too, but it's so fun to watch this defense build up, um, I think I had one, this one's just kind of like an honorable mention, but I, because I think Majin Buu Saga, not Majin Buu, Future Saga is just as likely as Majin Buu Saga. So let me... I don't have the unit, so... I don't know who to compare him to. Let me just see what I have. Um, this is as close as I get because it's Future Saga. Um, I think there's a chance that we can get a... Let me think. Sorry, I'm having, I'm having a hard time thinking here. We can get a Goku, a Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta. And, or it could be like a, let me think, let me think. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I don't think, I don't think I have a standalone Super Saiyan Blue, Goku. Um, part one could be Super Saiyan Blue, Goku. And they could do, like, the revival where he gets, like, uh, pinned up against the wall and Zamasu's telling him, you know, he killed Chi-Chi and Goten. You know, that could be, like, the revival. Um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and... Mm, no, 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 no. Not him. I'll show you who for part one. But it's less hype of a unit, so I don't know. Where is he at? Sorry, I'm having a hard time finding him. He, this guy could be an easy A as well. Him. A standalone Zamasu. We don't get this guy. Um, and he could have high, some kind of high defense for our extreme units. Because, you know, he's immortal. So, that would possibly part be part one. But, you know, this unit is just a more hype unit. 
So this would probably be a part one unit. And then part two could be standalone Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And then same thing, revival skill with, uh, maybe not like a revival skill, maybe like a damage buff or something. I, you know, I don't make the units, but just something I'm just thinking here. Um, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta where he's like, you know, the, the speech he gives to Zamasu. And while it would make more sense for him to be in part two with Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, um, AGL Zamasu should be in part one with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And this is just kind of fits in with all of it. Um, for part, uh, this is all I can think of for part one. For part one, we can get a standalone Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta um, that fuses into a Blue Vegito. That would be nice. You know, um, we can get some kind of, I don't know about four attacks. I was thinking like maybe... <laughs> Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Goku, but he, he he kind of just only uses his legs, but I don't know. Or does, I don't know, I don't remember, but that could be part one for the super class, and then for that, the extreme class here, like, like I've been talking, we've only, we've already got a fused Zamasu unit. Whoops. So we can get this guy. A stand alone, well, I can never find this guy. Stand alone, this guy, or I don't think we have any, right? We can do a no, we have one, we have one, a upgraded version of this guy right here. A it would be Fusamasu again, but we we need future saga buffs out here. A Super Saiyan Rose and whatever other Zamasu you want to call him. But a dual Zamasu that fuses into um, Fuse Zamasu, that would be, I think that would be an awesome part one for part two. Uh, maybe like Rage Trunks and, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, there's only one of them. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, rage Trunks and something else. I, they could figure it out. Maybe just a standalone green Zamasu. Because, like we've been talking, and I've been showing so many easy A's that could happen. AGL Zamasu or LR Zamasu, you know. We got we have easy A's to work with. Now, over on the GT side, what I was talking about earlier, we don't have anything. We don't have any easy A's to work with, really. Let me go look. Let me just make sure. I don't know why I got off. Let me type in... Let me just do GT Heroes. I know they can do bosses. Um, This guy. Oh, yeah, there's easy A's to work with. I just... It's not completely out the window. It can still be there. It's just, you know, we've been getting so much GT thrown at us. I feel like they're going to take a little break. Maybe next year we'll get some kind of... Stand on Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I don't know. I think they're kind of scared to stray away from Goku, so. Um, I doubt we'll ever just see a standalone Super Saiyan Vegeta in general. That would actually be cool. I didn't. That's not what I meant, but. Um, I think that's all I kind of wanted to uh, talk about today. Um,. I don't think I have really anything else. I don't think it'll be any... I don't imagine it'll be anything other than Future Saga, Majin Buu Saga, or um, GT. I don't think it'll be anything other than that. I, I really... You know, maybe Resurrection F or the... Where he fights Beerus. You know, maybe. But still. Just expect like a Majin Buu Saga, Future Saga, or GT themed... Um, GT themed celebration here. I think all those sound pretty exciting to me. I'm always down for a Super Saiyan 4 unit of any kind. I'm, 
I'm a big fan of GT. <clears throat> I don't like ride it or anything, but it's fun. It's fun. It was fun to watch. Kind of boring sometimes. Great opening, though, if you ever watch that. But um, that's all I'm going to do for today. I'll probably be going back to Call of Duty <laughs> tomorrow. I know I've been taking a break. I needed a break. Tomorrow's going to be Ghost since Black Ops 2 was hacked. Um, if you guys enjoyed a little Dokkan, um, you know, I'll come back to it another day. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you.